subscribe and share. Please, turn off the ad block, subscribe, and share. Links will be below for anyone wanting to support this channel. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechView Snelp and today we're going to get into how to edit the actual start and this is pretty much the start area and specifically this is going to be within the settings menu. Now I may do two or three different type of videos on this particular subject because there's quite a bit that you can do with the start menu in itself but this is going to particularly pertain to within here so as far as that goes this is an beta version of windows 10 windows 10 will be out within the next month in july 29th and if things do change between now and then then i'll leave outdated in the title and i will end up leaving a link below in the description on where you can get the updated video at so with this let's start so what you need to do is go to your desktop and in the blink section right click make sure you're not over our icon and that way you don't get the wrong menu but right click in the blank section go to personalize and let's go down to start so with this what you can do is basically select a few custom toggles so what you can do is with the occasionally show apps and content suggested in the start menu basically what this is sh showing within here is things that it thinks you might enjoy in the overall aspect that's from the windows store itself it's basically advertisement but it's not advertisement in a way trying to bring you to a company or whatever if you if it notices that you use a lot of um, the maps a lot of mailing a lot of weather or whatever then it'll find something within the marketplace itself that will try to match that and that way you find something that can actually enhance your experience with Windows 10 and your overall experience with computers. I'll advise leaving this on however if you're in a workplace or some other place or you don't have the real estate then go ahead and turn it off. I'm just going to leave it on. Now with this you can also say the um, open programs within start and what I will do is say leave that on and that way you can see what you recently opened because most people they tend to open a handful of programs like for example their browser their email a few others and they tend to need quick access to it or it's better to have quick access to it and that allows that and this recently added apps i would also advise to leave that in there if you want and just basically as you add apps from the windows store itself i'll get into a, a entire video onto that later but um, as you add apps it will show within the start Let's go down to the do you want the start menu to be full screen or as is and as you see here if we go to full screen by selecting that on let's go and select the start and it is the entire full screen you may notice that this area is over here and we can select that and tell it exactly what we want now keep in mind oh and spartan is edge is i don't know why they didn't update that yet but keep in mind this is in the beta phase but um and, and some of the icons keep in mind they are just placeholders because again this is in the beta version but as far as this goes this acts like windows 8 for those of you who do like windows 8 which quite a few of you does this is pretty much pretty close like it if, if not zach and let's turn that off because i don't care for that but this could be useful in a uh, place that uses a ton of apps or programs and um let's skip that and go into customize list 
and basically what this does is you can have a quick selection towards any of these so for example if i want music if i don't want if i don't want to see that then i can select that and as you see here music's not showing but let's say i want documents downloads pictures home groups networks personal folders all showing it's showing right here keep in mind this the icons is placeholders and um, it is a beta version so the icons will change and there is almost always third-party applications that can change these for you if it doesn't change but i'm just going to select all that because other than downloads i don't really use it and there we go and also again keep in mind some of these ha actually do have icons like settings and files for but as far as that goes if you do have any questions then feel free to leave that below in the comment section and i'll try to answer it as quickly as possible also if you want to add anything to this or if you want me to make a video on anything else also leave that in the comment section now if you like this please leave a like subscribe share and also please feel free to check out our other videos and follow us on twitter so you can see when new videos come out but if you don't like this please leave a dislike and tell us why so we can fix it in future videos again this has been craig bennett founder on our tech video snope and hope you have a great day